Hi friends, welcome back. Now it is time to see whether sum of subsets is a NP complete problem or not. So in this, uh, let's continue with our old process. So here, uh, well known uh, NP complete problem that is three set problem. We try to uh, reduce it to sum of subset problem in polynomial time. So for that, let's take the previous uh, example where this uh, three set problem is having three clauses c1 c2 and c3 and there are three literals x1 x2 and x3 so for uh, doing this the preparation is uh, we have three columns one for x1 one for x2 and one for x3 and then three columns, one for C1, one for C2, one for C3. And then we have uh, variable rows. So two variables for each uh, literal. So it can be V1, V1 dash, that is V1 talks about X is X1 equal to true v1 dash talks about x1 equal to false same way v2 v2 dash v3 and v3 dash so that's uh, one part of the table the other part of the table is uh, supplement uh, variables we have that is uh, one for each uh, literal so it can be s1 s1 dash s2 s2 dash s3 s3 dash then how this is filled so x1 x1 this one v1 is talking about x1 is true v1 dash talking about x1 is false so it doesn't talk about x2 and x3 same way v2 talks about x2 being high and v2 dash talks about x2 being low same way for x3 done so these CS yes values will not have any thing so they will be just zeros okay coming this side so it's uh, S1 is talking about X1, that is S1 is talking about uh, C1, so it will be C1 is true, C1 is false, so we get a same way, a 0 here, 1 here, 0 here, 1 here, and then 2 zeros and a 1, 2 zeros and a 1. Okay, then how to fill this is just uh, this first row, x1 is 1, others are 0. So if x1 is 1, then clause 1 will be 0, clause 2 will be 1, clause 3 will be 0. So if x1 is 0, then it is opposite of that, you get 1, 0, 1. Same way, for this we are talking about x2 equal to 1. So if x2 is 1, clause 1 is 1, clause 2 is 1, clause 3 is 0. So that is 1, 
one zero and if x2 is 0 then it will be 0 0 1 same way for x3 equal to 1 so class 1 will be 1 then 0 then 0 so we have 1 0 0 so opposite 1 0 1 1 so that's how this table is filled and uh, what is required is to work with this uh, sad problem first condition required is x1 can be either 1 or 0 cannot be both therefore when you add up the total should be 1 same way x2 can be 0 or, or 1 cannot be both therefore they should add up to 1 same way x3 can be 1 or 0 so total it should add up to 1 and uh, c1 c2 c3 so there are totally three uh, clauses are there so they should add up to three each now we should uh, select such that these things will become three so this is making one means you can either select uh, v1 or v1 dash or you can select uh, either v2 or v2 dash or you can select either v3 or v3 dash not both together so that makes this 111 now to make this 333 what all we can use say if i use this one then the under c1 column we got a one c3 column we got a one now if we use this no we are not allowed because this one is for uh, v2 yeah this we can use sorry this is for v1 dash this is v2 so if we use this then under c1 we have two under c2 we have one and under c3 we have one so we have one more chance either of these two we can use say if i use this then what will i get so under c1 we have two under c2 we have two under c3 we have two so that means we need to select one from each So we have to select one from each. I'm sorry, these have to be zero. So for C1 to make it three, we can use this. For C2, C2 to make it three, so we have already two. To make it three, we can use this one. And for C3 to make it three, this is one, this is two. So any one we can use. Yeah, so this way we have made this one total of the column three total of this column three total of this column three and uh, what we had was uh, this row then we have this row then we have this row then we have this row this row and this row so what are i trying to say is there are one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 possibilities were there. Out of 12 possibilities, we selected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that these totals are made up. So, what is it? So, there are 12 options were open. Out of 12, some 6 were selected, so that the sum is made. So, there was a set. 
and from that set we have selected some particular subset whose sum is equal to 3. Why 3? Because we wanted to make sure that one from each class is there. Okay. Now at the end, what is this talking about? We have selected this row. This is talking about V1 dash. That means it says X1 should be 0. The second one we have selected here. This says X2 should be 1 because it is V2. And this one says that X3 should be 0. So X1 0, X2 1, X3 0 is one solution. One solution. And this is a sum of subsets and when uh, it is a uh, work, it uh, says we get a total sum of 3. So, will this solution be helpful in solving our original problem that is 3 set? Okay, let us see. X1 is 0, therefore it is 1 here. It is 0 here. It is 1 here. X2 is 1, so 1 here, 1 here, 0 here, X3 is 0, so 0 here, 1 here, 1 here. So we can see that this disjunctive form is 1, this is a 1, this is a 1, so 1 and 1 and 1 will make this 1. So this, uh, the solution of this is able to solve our three set problem so we can say that the three set problem is reduced to the sum of subsets problem in poly time so this is uh, already So this is already known that it is ENP complete. Hence, it is proved that the sum of subsets is also ENP complete. So that's it for now. Thanks guys for watching. Many more things to come on this uh, topic. Keep watching. Thank you.